Hey everyone, um, sorry, hey everyone, excuse me. What's up? This is a tutorial for Adobe Flash CS4 Professional. Um, Adobe has recently released their new set of uh, CS4 programs, and uh, they're pretty kick butt, especially in Dreamweaver the live view feature. I love that. But this, this is a, um, you can see I have Dreamweaver boxed up down here, but this is a, a tutorial for Flash, so let's just jump into it. I'm going to be showing you how to make a banner to like um, basically integrate with either Dreamweaver or any web design program or even just coding. I'm going to show you how to make the banner. I'm not going to show you the coding to uh, actually insert the banner, but I might in a separate video later. Um, and I'm definitely going to make some hopefully more tutorials for Flash. There's plenty of things I can do and for Dreamweaver and any other CS4 programs that uh, I think I should. Um, so first, um, this is a little test thing I had. I'm just going to get rid of it or I'm not going to do anything with this, I'm just gonna make a new um a new uh whatchamacallit uh flash file. Uh choose action script three point Sorry if my computer's a bit laggy right now, it's cause I'm running Cam Studio and I have uh two big Adobe programs open right now. And wow is probably somehow running in the background. Um okay so let's make this a little smaller go to properties edit. What I like about the um about Flash CS4, which I don't believe they had in Flash CS3, is that you can edit the size of a canvas just by in here. I think I could be wrong, but I think in Flash CS3 when I used to use it, I think you had to uh remake it or like go to edit or something like that. And it's just it's just a lot easier to have it right here now, but I could be wrong. Oh you guys am I right? Am I wrong? Uh feel free to comment and correct me, but I, I I'm pretty sure it's new unless I'm wrong. But uh, so let's start out with, let's do um 550 by or make it like 750 by like 150. That'll be a pretty decent size for a banner there. Okay, there we go. It's like a banner on a page, a little bit bigger probably, but oh well, who cares? It's just practice. Um, so first you want to make um this is gonna be a simple banner, just text moving in and out. So make right now. Um, sorry about that pounding noise. Make two banners. This bottom one, name it um, background. You'll see why I'm making two in a second. And name the top layer text. Um, you double click it to change the name. Um, sorry if you just heard a sound in the background, whatever. That's my Xbox. Uh, but you make the top layer text and go to the background. Go to. A rec the rectangle tool or you could even do like uh, rectangle primitive doesn't really matter for this one we'll just make it um shoot no, let's just make it gray like that and let it automatically or no it won't hold on should we should try to line it up with the corners here there we go about right there okay um Let's do this. Um, then you can always just go like this and remove it into the corners. It'll lock in. That looks good. No white around the edges. Okay. Um, if you ever have a problem with banners and you see white around the edges, it's probably not your web design program or the CSS. It's probably the banner itself usually. Um, so yeah, always check that if you're having a problem. And always save your FLA files. It helps so you can always go back and edit it if something's wrong instead of having to do the whole freaking thing over again. But um, now you have the background, just leave that alone. You could uh, lock it if you want just to make sure you don't add something onto it. And the reason we're doing this on here, on um, the text in a separate layer, is because we don't want the, um, uh, how can I explain it? It's kind of hard to explain, but you'll, you'll see why in a second. Now make this color um, black so it doesn't blend in. Let's just say blue shoes productions. Make that a little bigger right there. I might have to resize it. I hope not. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to resize it. Oh well. Um, resize it and make it about uh, right about there. That looks good. Get this. Right there. Okay, that's good. Now just put it anywhere in here, really, wherever you want. Like right there is good. Now you want to um, we're gonna make one more layer now name this uh, rules you'll see why this text first we're gonna make every um, control click everything in here 
we're gonna make it go to about uh, 35 layers. Oh, we didn't do that. Oh, I see why. Never mind. My bad. Okay. Hold on. There we go. Okay, now, um, there's nothing really on the rules yet, so it's showing up as white. Um, but do this. Um, what we're gonna do is keyframe this blue shoes productions to move in and out. So we're gonna go to about 15. F6, make a keyframe. F6, make keyframe. The background doesn't matter because it's the background. We're not changing it. And put um, for this new keyframe. Um, actually, make keyframe at like right there. It doesn't really matter. Somewhere in there. Make them the same on both things. And go to here. Or no, go to um, here and make like um, on the text one. Make sure you're on the check uh, the text on the rules or background. Keyframe it so that um, it goes to about. Let's see, um, we want to put it down like here. Then make sure you right click on, uh, make sure you right click in here and select create classic tween. Make it do that. There we go. Then, uh, go up to here and uh, let's see about. And here, put uh, we have to go up to here. Let's see. Make a new text object called. Um, or make a new text and just do rules. There we go. Uh, let's resize a little bit. Right there. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. Now put that up here. My bad. Put that right there. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is uh, put right here. Bring it down. Oh wait. Hold on. Actually, click on here, click Control C, go to this next keyframe. Actually, go back to the first keyframe, click Edit, Paste in Place, and then go to here, Edit, Paste in Place, or Control Shift V in the last one. It's, that's not a keyframe, never mind. Um, I should have done this in the beginning because now you have to see if you go to each keyframe and change it, but oh well. Um, just try to avoid that. Now go down to here on this keyframe, we're going to move it to like right here. And once again, click Create Classic Tween. Uh, there. So watch what happens now. Hit Control Enter to preview. Like that. And something you could do is um, there. No, it's about it. I was thinking of something else. Never mind. But that's about it for this. I hope that helped. Um, if it's I know my Flash CS3 one people said it was hard to hear me, my volume's too low. I hope this fixed it, um, and just basically tell me what you think if you like this or not. I hope this was helpful. Sorry if it seems like kind of a slapdash effort, it really wasn't. It was actually something I thought about for a second, but sorry if it does. Um, just I hope to have more tutorials out soon for this. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to see when my new videos come out. Thanks.